What up everyone? It's Jason here at JJ Eats. Today we're in the Alaska Air Lounge. And today he's gonna give us a food review of the Alaska Air Lounge food right, from first, a keto perspective. From a keto perspective. First, show, show them what we got. We got celery sticks, spicy hummus, hummus, and tabbouleh, Monterey Jack cheese and cheddar cheese cubes. All right, I'm gonna dig in for the spicy hummus. One bite, you know the rules. Mm. Wow, that's exquisite. Unbeatable, best hummus I've ever had in my life. Ready? Go for the regular hummus. You get a fat dollop, you know, get rid of that green one. Ready? Wow. You can taste the freshness on the hummus. You definitely feel it wasn't store-bought. It was hand ground. Mm, so good. So good. Mm. Foot of tabbouleh. All right, ready? Mm. Wow. As you can see there, we got the red chili flakes, the pine nuts, the spinach, the kale, whatever the herbs are, it tastes amazing. So you see the next dish. Look at Guys, we've made it to the Pearl Lounge in Marrakesh Airport. It's very open, but the interior is uh, really nice here. Let's take a look. They got workstations, areas to chill, nice little food bar. We've got, we've got Jason over here about to get ready for a shower. And then uh, we'll let you know about the food review. All right, man. Can't wait. So what we have here is a little assortment of what they have. They have little quiches, little pizzas, little tiny sandwiches, a little puff pastry, another uh, little pizza quiche, and another sandwich. And they also got this beautiful fruit salad. Look at that. They have strawberries, kiwis, uh, pineapples, pears, a whole bunch of good stuff in here. Um, going in for a first time. We'll start off with the little pizza dish. All right. Looks like they got a little onion, a little mozzarella, a little bit of. It's like a pizza bagel. A little oregano. Yeah, like a little pizza bagel. All right. Take a look. Mmm. That is very good. Um, it was in the refrigerator for a bit, but it still tastes like. A little tiny pizza, mini pizza. All right, we'll put that to the side real quick. Let's move on to the quiche. We got a little, little broccolini in there, a little cheese, a little bit of egg. Why don't we open this up real quick? Wow, that looks good. Do you see that? Let me go for this little bite right here. Very delicious. So Joe, pan over if you can see the kitchen over there. It's a, it's a nice size kitchen. I believe um, I saw a panini maker over there. I saw a couple microwaves, but it's okay. But the, we'll see if we could uh, get into the lunch program when, uh, by the time our flight starts. Then we go dig into a little bit of this fruit right here. Go for a little pineapple. Yeah, this right here. It looks, uh, very, very uh, vibrant, nice yellow color. Got a little uh, strawberry flavoring on that pineapple. We'll go for it. Wow. Very good. Very sweet. I like my pineapples a little sour, so that's just my type. We'll tune into the next uh, things we get. What's up, guys? Uh, I've got my second plate over here. A little bit of a, a tuna mini baguette. And uh, we got some free lattes in the place. First, I'm gonna take a bite of the, of the tuna sandwich and then wash it down with some latte. Mmm. Definitely a lot better than the mini uh, one-biters that we've had before. Mm. It's nice that the uh, the bread pressed, 
The tuna is nice and warm. Mm. Can't have any complaints with this. Nice little airport snack. Next, we got a little fresh latte. They had an espresso machine in the front. Huge fan of that because I got one in my house. Mmm. It's very sweet, nice, milky, foamy. Just like any other latte. Mm. Pretty good. All right, already past lounge and Madrid side. Very big, spacious. I wonder what's on that way. Probably a bar. See it and I'll get us some treats. This oh, is they got baked goods over here. Fresh fruit. OJ. Coffee machine. What do you got in here, Jason? Some cold sandwiches? We got some vegetable sandwiches. Some legit Cokes. Open bar. Kid stations. What's up guys? We're at the uh, Madrid Airport Lounge flying back to New York and uh, check out some of the, the cool things we got. They've got fresh mineral water. I got myself a sliced ham and cheese sandwich and a crab sandwich. Freshly squeezed OJ. Some yogurt. This is actually the really good stuff. Some ham, grapes, oranges, grapefruit, and uh, a little mini croissant. I think I'm gonna start with the sandwich. See, nicely folded, cut in half. They put some nail on it. I wonder for a bite. Mmm. Mmm. The cheese and the mayo, you can definitely taste that. In the sandwich. Very good. The ham still so, nothing too special there. I'm gonna try a little crab sandwich. This looks a lot better, Jason. Get a close up of this. Wow. A little ham in there, too. Oh, they surprised us with a little jamon, maybe. Going for one bite. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. You can taste the crab lobster mix. Look, my bites are almost identical. <laughs> so it's mm. a fair comparison. Mmm. Very good crab sandwich. Very good. Try some of that orange juice. Is that fresh squeezed dough? Oh yeah. You see the pulp in it? You know, it although it's orange juice, it tastes more like grapefruit juice. Yeah, maybe it's a combination. Mm. Very good. Let me try some of this one. Mm. Very good ham. Very good ham. Grapes, you know, pretty good. Nothing too crazy there, but uh, when you're eating a grape, you always want that nice crunchy skin. That's how you know you got yourself a thick grape. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you back in New York, guys. All right, guys, we're on our American Airlines flight. This is our in flight meal of the day. Now, what I got is the Broccoli and meatballs with a uh, mashed potato and cheese. Take a look at that. We got a little uh, Caesar salad with a little Italian dressing. We got the uh, apple crumb cake uh, and a piece of bread, some little cheese, and some crackers. And over here, Joe got a little ginger ale with a little pasta. Look at all that cheese, nice and gooey. Take a look at that. Look at that cheese pull. All right. Wow. All right. He also got the crumb cake, the salad, the Italian dressing, and the crackers. All right. Now, how about we go in for the first bite with the meatballs? All right. Let me uh, 
slice up a little piece of meatball. Actually, you know what? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. That is good. That is delicious. Now, this is... If my food usually does not have a lot of flavor, but this... This is really good. Let me get a little piece of broccoli over here. Ooh, man. I wonder what that sauce is. Let's find out. Mm. That is really good. Really rich. And a uh, little mashed potatoes. Wow, has a little uh, horseradish flavor in there, but that's good. That's a uh, very new for uh, uh, airline food. It's uh, a lot of flavor in all of this. I could skip a salad for now, but I'm let me go in for the little pasta Joe has. You know, all right, going for one bite. You know. Mmm. That pasta tastes like it's straight from Italy. Really good. A lot of flavor. Perfect al dente. Amazing. You know what? American Airlines, you get a thumbs up. What's going on, guys? We're here for a midway snack on the plane. I got a uh, vegetarian pastry. And Jason got a little beef pastry. We're going to go in and give this a little shot, see how it tastes. Get a look at this texture. Ooh, it's a cute little looking fancy hot pocket. We'll try to take a bite, see what we got. You could definitely taste like it's uh, like it's got like a Middle Eastern kind of taste. Squash, onion. I don't taste any goat cheese. I taste a decent amount of cumin in this. Let's check out how this beef looks. Same looking texture. It's uh, beef and potato. One of Jason's favorites, potato. I would say it's a little bit dry, but you can taste the you can taste the beef and the potato. You can tell it was like made like pretty uh, slightly undercooked, but goes really well with the beef. Mm. Overall, thumbs up for these mini snacks. Jason and I were complaining about how we were already starving, and uh, they must have, the hostesses must have heard us.